What does Hashem look like? Moshe Rabbeinu asks to see Hashem. Show me yourself. What is he expecting to see? What does he see? Hashem passes through a cleft of rocks and shows Moshe Rabbeinu the knot on his tefillin. How does that satisfy Moshe Rabbeinu's request? What is Moshe Rabbeinu's request? What does he want to see? What does he hope to see? And why does he ask for it now? A little reset. We know this week's Parsha is punctuated by the tragic story of the golden calf, the Egel Azov. Forty days after hearing God speak to them directly, Moshe Rabbeinu up on the mountain receiving the tablets, the Jewish people rebel, led by the mixed multitude of Egyptians. They build an idol to the, which, which they hope to replace Moshe Rabbeinu. He descends from the mountain, he sees them frolicking around, and smashes the tablets. Hashem is initially finished with the Jewish people. He says to Moshe, forget it. They're gone, me and you, we're starting all over again. Moshe Rabbeinu demures, he says, God, no, I am with my people. If you erase them, then erase my name from your book. God relents, and Moshe Rabbeinu then, seeing that he has God's favor, asks for this kindness. Can I please see your glory? Not for his personal satisfaction. Moshe Rabbeinu wants to be so close with Hashem that it is as profound as vision. Hashem says, you cannot see me and live, for God is infinite and you are finite, even if you are Moshe Rabbeinu. And if the finite is exposed to the infinite, it ceases to be, it ceases to retain its finite status and become subsumed within its infinite. But how then, Hashem, can we be connected with you? If you are infinite and we are finite, are we not forever destined to be apart? And this is what Hashem responds by showing Moshe Rabbeinu the Kesher Shel Tefillin, the knot of his Tefillin. The message being that through mitzvah actions, you will embed the infinity of Hashem within your finite self and you will not forfeit your identity. Like the knot of the Tefillin, the Jewish people and Hashem are knotted together. You may not understand why. How is it possible that through the simple performance of a human act, I evoke the infinity of Hashem and embed it within my identity? I don't know the answer other than to say, simply because it is the will of Hashem. And so Moshe says, Hashem, I want to be close with you. Hashem says, in order to do that, do the mitzvahs. I do the mitzvahs, Hashem says. This is truly what I wish. This is the wisdom and will of God himself. And when you fulfill the mitzvah, you become as knotted and one with God as the infinite can be aligned with the finite. This happens in mitzvah actions, it happens in Shabbos, and it will happen with the coming of Mashiach.